Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today I got something really fun for you to check out. We're looking at a recreation of one of the original classic Echo machines. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the T-Rex Benson Echo Rec. Now the Echo Rec is a classic delay machine. It works very differently than some of the tape-based machines that were, uh, were simultaneously available back in the day. It has a very interesting history as well. The Benson Company was founded by Dr. Bonfilio Bini, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, in Milan, Italy, shortly after World War II. And the company actually started out as the Benson Hi-Fi Amplifier Company. They made tube radios, they made television sets, and then eventually they got into musical instrument kinds of things as well. They made PA systems, they made guitar amplifiers, and other things. But the company is certainly best known for the Echo Rec, which is this echo machine that we have in front of me here. It was first introduced in the mid-50s, and it was actually manufactured up until 1986. There were a variety of different models through those years and different things. Um, and Dr. Beanie continued to service the existing units up until about 1996 as well. T-Rex has been working on developing this Echo Rec for eight years now, and they introduced it at the NAMM show just a few months ago. As far as I'm concerned, for guitar players, it was definitely the hit of the show. It was the buzz item, that's for sure. So what makes the Echo Rec different from, say, an Echoplex? Well, of course, the Echoplex uses magnetic tape. The Echo Rec also uses a magnetic principle. In this case, we have a rotating drum, and there's a coil of wire. It's a specially manufactured coil of wire that's flatter on one side that allows it to lay tightly against that drum. And that's what carries the magnetic signal that's picked up by record and playback heads that are arrayed around that rotating drum. So we can do everything with this from basic straight ahead delay effects to doubling effects to almost chorusing type effects to what they call a swell effect, or it's basically a reverb effect. Let's take a little closer look. On the back panel, we have both balanced and unbalanced inputs and outputs. This makes the Echo Rec equally useful for guitar and bass players as well as as a studio processor. We have an external speed control jack that works with an expression pedal. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And we also have an external bypass jack. So the back panel is very simple, very straight ahead. On the front panel, we have the magic eye. Now that tells us what signal level is going into the unit. You can see that lights up to give us the intensity of the signal. But all the fun happens here on the top panel. We'll begin with the echo volume level. That's, that's the volume of the echo repeats. Next up, we have the record selector, and this selects which head we're recording to. The vintage style unit had just one head, and it produced a short delay. We'll demonstrate that in a second. And then the new one has a second record head that's three times as far away as the first one, which gives us much longer delays. So if we jump up to the short position, we'll choose the longest delay time. Now if we go to the new record head, record two, substantially longer record time. Our next control is drum speed. This sets how fast the drum is rotating. And again, we're gonna get different delay lengths depending on which head we have selected. But using that speed control, we have minus 20 to plus 20 variability there as far as the speed of the drum goes. There's a notch in the center, which would be where the original vintage unit was. And then we can turn it down by 20%, up by 20%. Or you can do the same thing using that expression pedal jack on the back panel. So here's what happens when we turn that knob. We get a much longer delay. And when we increase the speed, the drum speed really kicks up. We get a much shorter delay time. Turn that down so we don't get oscillation happening there. But you'll also hear that the tone changes as we do that. When we're in the slowest speed, we get a darker repeat at the higher speed, a much brighter, thinner sounding repeat. So we have an echo tone control over here on the right side of the panel as I'm looking at it that allows us to adjust for that. The record level sets the intensity for the incoming signal. Again, we can monitor that using that magic eye on the front panel. On the right-hand side of the top panel, we have switches that turn the different playback heads on and off. So let's get this back down to a little slower rate. I'm on playback head four, which is gonna give us the longest delay. If we go to three, two, and one, we get very different echo lengths. Now we can turn on different combinations of those to give us rhythmic effects. So 
So a lot of different possibilities there. Another nice feature of the T-Rex version of the Echo Rec is we have level controls for those four playback heads available on the back panel. It even comes with a little screwdriver that allows you to adjust the level of those individual heads to, again, to increase those different rhythmic possibilities you have available to you. We have two more controls on the top panel. The first is the number of repeats from a single repeat to basically full-on oscillation. That signal degrades in a beautiful way as it continues to repeat as that drum rotates. Our final control on the front panel is the bypass switch. Actually, there's one more control that I overlooked, and that's the repeat switch and the swell switch. Repeat is basically straight ahead delay effects. Swell turns on all four of the heads and gives us more of a reverb effect or a washy kind of an effect. If we increase the number of repeats, we get a longer reverb effect. What's really fun about the Echo Rec is that it sits so well with your guitar playing. The tone coming off that magnetic drum is just right to make it just sit perfectly so that you hear your playing very clearly. The delays sit right down inside there comfortably behind. They really enhance what you're doing. It's a warm sounding effect, but it's one that's really effective for creating different types of ambiences and things. Now, one of the beauties of this also is that you can really see what's happening when you pull this top cover off. So let's unscrew these screws. We'll carefully lift this off here. You can see we have our rotating drum and we've got our seven heads arrayed here. Two record heads and then we also have an erase head and the four playback heads giving us a total of seven. Now I have to make a confession here. In my normal approach to doing these kinds of things I basically just unpacked the Echo Rec, plugged it in and turned it on and started listening to it. And what I heard was sort of a clicking noise and a lot of background hiss and noise with this. I thought I had an effective unit, but when I actually did what I should have done, which was looked at the manual and checked out the online quick start video, I hadn't really set up the unit properly. It is a mechanical unit, so what you need to do is make sure, first of all, that all the heads are in the proper position, but more importantly, you need to clean that drum and you need to lubricate it. It comes with cleaning pads and it comes with a bottle of oil. You put just a thin coating of oil around the outside, smooths out all that response, the click was gone, the background noise was gone, and it works perfectly. So be sure you do that when you unpack your Echo Rec, clean it, oil it, and you'll be good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Benson Echo Rec from T-Rex. It's an amazing recreation of that classic delay. It gives you everything that the vintage unit had. You can set it up to be exactly like the vintage unit, or you can take advantage of some of those newer features as well with the speed control, the expression pedal control, the level controls for the foreheads, and so on. It gives you a lot of different options, but it's a beautiful sounding delay. You're really going to like this one, both for your guitar playing and for your studio use as well. If you have questions about the T-Rex Benson Echo Rec, check out our pages at Sweetwater.com on this unit. It'll tell you everything you need to know there. Or better yet, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'll be happy to answer your questions and tell you how one of these units is going to be the perfect enhancement to your guitar or your studio rig. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. <laughs>